heck? Um. So that just happened. What's going on guys? Dre here and welcome back to Ancestors. Today we have evolved, ladies and gentlemen. We experienced our first evolution in the last episode and we are now to my, uh, which is a new evolutionary species uh, from our original ancestors. So we got a new home we have to check out and we're definitely gonna be doing that today. I notice I'm getting a lot of matured neurons. So did we lose all our evolutionary stats too? No, and that was just sheer luck that I actually got one basically right away. So we don't got any XP right now, but we did actually unlock some sort of matured neuron. So today, we're obviously going to be doing a lot of exploring. We're at a whole new part of the world that I have no idea where we are. So all this stuff is brand new. We got a lot of fear zones to see quite close to us. Uh, so we'll be conquering those, looking around, seeing if there's anything new, and obviously, hopefully, getting our tools back, too, because we lost all our choppers and any sort of stone tool that we made. Uh, so we'll be trying to get those as well once we find the rock outcrops. I want to go down into the jungle, though, see if we can conquer some of our fears right now, uh, and just kind of look what's really close to our new home. If there's any fruit food or whatnot, I'm noticing a lot of these plants here, which is really nice if we do need to come down. Hey, what is this? I don't know if I've ever seen this. Um, it look, look like looks like a damn squash or something. All right, what is that? New food discovery. That's a brand new food. African droop. All right, eat that thing. That is a big meal right there, man. All right, so that's right by our home, too. And I'm hearing bees. That must mean there's honey around us as well, which is nice uh, because we can deal with poison with that. All right, so let's keep going. If you notice, I'm walking a lot more uh, upright, which is really, really cool to see. This, The more I evolve, I assume the more we're going to start walking upright, and obviously sooner or later we'll actually evolve into an upright um, creature. But that's probably really far away. Now, just looking around. Is this a cave? No, this isn't a cave. It just opens up over here. I'm hearing a waterfall, though, so do you want to go see what's down over here? Whoa! Oh, did I get him? Did I get... Oh, my God! I was making a damn weapon for that reason. I think I struck him. I did hurt him. Okay, where the heck did he go? Jesus Christ! I'm literally right by my home! Hello, Tiger! I can't believe I actually hit him there. I thought I was gonna get screwed. Alright, let's finish making this thing. Because clearly, we're gonna need it around our base. Okay, we're in our first fear zone here. I'm trying to get out of the water. Um, let's start IDing some of this stuff. That will drop my dopamine up, I think. Yeah, there we go. So you see, if you look at the bottom left, I think I've said this before, but that circle basically is how you conquer your fear. So, and doing anything, I think even drinking, like for example, if we uh, get down to the water, oh, actually, I don't want to drop my tool just in case I get attacked by something, but you can do anything from eating to drinking. We can probably eat now, for example. That's going to help me out, yeah. Basically, anything that's common to you will help you relax and uh, get this new zone. So we're almost done here. This eating is actually working really good. Oh, oh, of course, of course. Okay, got it. Do not want to have to deal with you, buddy. Okay, just keep running that way, please. I, you know what? I should probably get up to the trees. That would be smart right now. Okay, surrounding rationalize, reach conquer zone. Where is it? That's new, isn't it? It wasn't as easy as this before. I think they changed it. Oh, we can conquer my fears right now. Perfect. I wonder if I was just exactly in the zone. There we go. So that's the closest zone to our place. Got that conquered. One of many we're probably going to have to do today. Well, the current's pretty damn crazy in this, uh, oh, Jesus, this world. Getting into the water is actually dangerous because we can't actually reach the ground. You actually, look, I'm paddling backwards. I don't even think I can beat it. Not, not when I don't have grip on the ground, at least. So yeah, we got this river everywhere too. So this will be fun to deal with. I forgot to, uh, I came back over here because I forgot to get the uh, ID. All right, I think we got this other zone that's in the mountains. Um, let me actually see, is it right over here? Yeah, it's right up there as you can see. So I'm gonna try and ID this one as well before we go back home. I do not have any dead branches though. So this is risky. You can still avoid predators by jumping out of the way if you can do it fast enough. But I always like to have a tool around, obviously, because uh, there's a lot of predators, especially in these fear zones, it feels like. Is that a snake right there? 
looks like a damn snake. I don't know what that was. It's getting dark out, so it's hard to see. Look, look, it's right here. Oh! I guess this one wasn't a fear zone. This is just a landmark. So, there's fear zones and there's landmarks, I think. Uh, this is the Great Lake, the Split Waterfall Oasis. Definitely uh, a beautiful waterfall and a great lake at that as well. So, and this would be a really cool spot to kind of chill out ch chill at as well. I mean, it's huge. I don't know how safe it is here, though. But we got it. We got a landmark. We're almost full XP, so we want to get home and start spending some of this stuff. Yeah, you know what? I think we've explored long enough for one day. We'll definitely do some more before the end of this episode. But I do want to try and get home as well. Our home's all the way over there. All right, great. We got to cross the damn raging river and quite literally raging hopefully it's not too deep oh it's definitely too deep oh no oh no don't fall down the waterfall oh god yep we're just gonna go all the way down this damn river can i build a boat are, are, are we smart enough to do that yet because i am definitely gonna be taking down this river multiple times okay we got a question mark right here anything new no this is all top fiber on the other tree ah i don't know which way to go I jumped into him. I jumped into him. The one way I chose was the way he went. Damn it. Well, we know where the Kapok Fiber is, at least. Thank God. Jesus. Talk about unlucky. You can jump any way you want in this game, and I jump right into him because I couldn't hear or see where he was coming from. Okay, grab. Apply. Whew. Dealt with that ble ble bleeding wound. Oh! That's not good. I can't believe I missed all those branches. Are you serious? Uh, well, I know broken bones are fixed over time, so let's just get this guy home. He's had a hell of a day. That, that was just unlucky. I missed every damn branch there. This guy should be okay, but he's clearly had a, had a little bit of a rough one. At least he didn't die. You definitely can die if you fall from a high enough place. It looked like we were just under that cut. So we got lucky in that regard, at least. Okay, we made it. Hurt, but we're at least alive. Okay, evolve. Let's see what we did today, at least. So we unlocked a couple of them. Actually, not as much as I hoped for. Damn it. Uh, well, let's get these done at least. Recovery time from a poisoning or an injury is now faster. Well, that's convenient because we have an injury right now. The weird thing is it's not connected to our main lines here, as you can see. Uh, it's actually connected to this uh, nutrient absorption uh, thing. More energy is gained per food portion. Okay, so th these are all benefits from what I've seen so far. But that's good. All right, so we uh, can heal our, our broken bone quicker. Let's get this one real quick. The shield duration against all poisons and injuries is longer. Okay, so the shields are basically buffs, so that's a, another convenient thing for poisons. That's it right now, I think. Oh, no, we actually got a couple that we didn't get. The range for detection of a, the source of an odor is increased, so again, our sniffer is a little bit better, so that's fun. Is this one? This one we didn't actually connect to. We must have not had enough XP. Well, now we do. We got lots of XP. I might keep one kid here just because I'm gaining so much XP with all this new stuff to explore. Um, Ordent Chemotopy. Uh, the width of automatic identification for non-threatening odors from the same species is increased. Okay, so I can smell the gorillas, or I shouldn't call them gorillas, uh, whatever we are, uh, from further away. Now we can relearn the ones we didn't lock in. If you remember, these ones were all ones we've already obtained, uh, but you have to use the XP to get to them. So technically, we should probably move on to the next generation soon here. I'm gonna have to make the babies. I've only made two of them. Because uh, we have four we have to lock in now, I think. Uh, is that all of them? We had more than I expected, that's for sure. So do I have to connect to these? Is that how it works? Or is it we just automatically get those? I think we automatically get those. Yeah, it looks like everything's finally done. So let's go to generation. Yeah, we have two reinforcements, and we can currently reinforce six of them. Wow. Okay, more than I expected. So we definitely want to move on to the next generation once we pop out the rest of the kids. <laughs> <gasps> what the heck? Um, so that just happened. That's, this is nuts. This is not a good place to be living, clearly. Are you okay? This is in my shelter. You're freaking bleeding. Uh, okay. Well, we're going to have to switch to her. Well, what do I do about this? I honestly have no idea. Okay, we're gonna have to find 
What do we got up here? Please tell me. Please. Okay, thank God we got clock fiber here. That's amazing. Like, I did not <laughs> I'd expect to see that. I'm going over here to mate with her. She gets eaten by a damn lion. This is not her day. Now, I'm just worried. Does this happen when I'm not at home? Like, am I going to lose my whole tribe here? Maybe we should move. Where the heck was that? It was right here. Oh, my God. There's buttons everywhere. That's the problem. When you're close to home, you can't find anything because they're everywhere. Um, It was right here. Okay, well, that's just great. So now I have to deal with that on top of the fact that this place absolutely sucks. Because um, it takes forever to get up to the top where I am. So I think we might actually move here if I can find a new place. I've been sitting here waiting for my mate for at least a couple minutes now. I don't even know if he can get down here. Like, that's the thing. Half of our tribe is up top. Half is in the middle. This is the weirdest location ever, and doing anything just takes forever, so I feel like we have to move. Uh, the question is, we haven't really unlocked anything, so I can't really... I was hoping to find a good spot first, and obviously weaponize these guys and whatnot. I don't even know where he is! Is he coming? It's just ridiculous! Come down! Alright, so I think we might actually get the heck out of here. Because, uh, well, there's tigers just hanging out here. Unless we can kill that tiger, I guess that would be an option too, but I, like I said, I really don't like this place. So let's just try something. We're going to um, do the clan call for the first time. There we go. Come on, guys. So we should now get these guys to follow me, as you can see. All right, so we're going to have sticks at the bare minimum. I, are these other guys going to come? That's the question. Like, we have guys up top. Now, you guys told me if I go too far away, they'll just come. See, there's, there's one right there. They're actually all just chilling, waiting to get down. See, what a weird spot to put a base. So the only other spot that I have is the Under the Cliff Oasis. We had that Great Lake as well. I can't seem to find it, though. Oh, is that it right there? I'll talk about Lucky. That's it. Uh, yeah, the Great Lake. You know what? Let's do that. I'm going to head over to the Great Lake. I'm going to try and bring these guys with me. But they should come when I settle. So even if we miss a few here, they should come now. It is cold out. Is there... What? Oh, yeah. This does give us benefits of cold. I was right. Okay. So let's get them to eat this stuff so we're not having to deal with the cold. That should last for a little while. And, yeah. I didn't want to do this right now because we are definitely not prepared. But I'm going to do it. All right. We just got to pass the river, which is going to be impossible for these poor souls. Uh, there are some rocks we can jump on, but you can't seem to direct them to jump. I'm also really tired, as you can see. I can't. I went out at the wrong time, uh, which is why I want to get there rather quickly. You know what? I'm just going to get there. Hopefully, once I make the clan thing, they'll come as well. Oh, I don't think I'm going to make it. Just made it. Whew. All right. Come on. We can do it. Now we're low stamina. Swimming is hard. Damn it. Ugh. All right. Well, it's just a little bit more walking for me, but that's frustrating. Man, that drains your stamina so quickly. Let's have a see here, man. Actually, we should get a drink, probably. Let's do that. Oh. Well, you guys made it somehow. That's fun. You don't look too happy about it, though. Well, at least we're alive. Some of us are here. We got monkeys in the river, too. How'd you guys get there? Okay. I'm not going to complain. Now, if you look at the bottom right, if the circles are out of the circle, it doesn't. it means they're not part of your encampment right now. So I don't know if these are the monkeys that are following me or if those are some that were left behind at the old camp. Um, we'll obviously go get them when we need to. Everybody's okay for right now. We don't have any real predators around. What is that? That's just fruit. I'm not seeing any predators, though. So, so far, so good. So I have no idea if this place is safe or not. I just know my other place definitely isn't. So uh, I'm... Better to be safe than sorry, I guess. So we'll see what happens when we get up here. It looks like it's a great place. I don't think there's going to be any predators here. And we all should be on the same level playing field. I mean, that doesn't make sense. The same level of terrain. That was the most frustrating part about the old one. Everybody was everywhere. Okay, and I really need to uh, sleep as well. Jesus, I'm going to pass out here. All right, add to pile. Switch hands. Add to pile. That should be it. No, don't grab it. Oh, God damn it. Add to pile. All right, there we go. Start construction. Okay, built a sleep spot at least five times. Go us. So we're going to lie down. Uh, actually, we should tell them to settle first. So settle. 
We've never done this. This is our new home, guys. Look at it. Are you not amazed? Clan settlement is established. So they're just going to do, go do their thing as per usual. Hopefully the rest of the clan members come. So yeah, as you can see at the circle now, one, two, three, four, five, six of our clan members are not here. I think I might have to go and grab them again. So we'll just sleep because I desperately need that right now. Maybe they'll be here by the time we wake up. I doubt it though. All right, so now I got to figure out how to get back and bring the rest over because yeah, they're not coming as you can see. So, oh my God. How did I miss that? Okay, well, thank God there's some rocks here we can land on. I think it's right over there. I'm not very good at directions, though. It's okay, buddy. Totally fine. We have the broken bone buff anyway, so even if we were to fall, we'd be totally fine. All right, I remember this cave, so I know we're close. It's right up. Oh, yeah, there's the... Uh, okay, we were, we're at it. I found it, thank God. Uh, because I remember that giant tree thing coming down. It should be right up here. Actually, we should probably see them by now. Whoa, that was horrifying. Yeah, we got a monkey right there, as you can see. Okay, so not sure why they all didn't come with me. I'm assuming the clan call has, like, a radius, maybe? And if it's not in that radius, they're just not going to come. Uh, so now we know, we learned. I was very much not wanting to do this today, but we had no choice. Let's just grab everybody this time including the people at the top, and bring everybody else over. Okay, and as you can see by the bottom right, I have all the monkeys following me that were not inside of our enclosure. So I think I just got to get back now. They're, they were all wait. The thing is, they'd listen to me uh, when we first did it. They were all stuck here, though. They were chilling on the ledge uh, right where we saw them last. So I'm actually worried. Are they stuck up here or something? I mean, the only way we'll find out is if we get home and they're not here. So we're going to eat some of this to get some fall damage buffs. Because we might fall and we need some food anyways. Okay, my brothers are coming! Look at them! I don't know why they don't get taken by the current, by the way, but I sure as hell do. Uh, but yes, everybody's coming, so that's good. We fixed it. I was a little worried we were going to split up the ape colony or something like that. Uh, but no, that's not the case. Oh god, this isn't horrifying. Okay, just gotta, you know, climb a small mountain and then we'll be there, guys. And we did it. If you look at the bottom right, all the circles are inside the big circle. That means everybody has made it to the settlement. So, thank God. I can eat? What am I... Oh, I'm holding something. That's right. All right, so we're going to end the expedition. And that's going to drop that off of us. But everybody is officially here. So, we finally did it. We moved a whole colony from point A to point B. All right, let's see what evolution we unlocked. Uh, quite a few of them. Not bad, not bad at all. We got lots of XP as well, which is always nice to see. All right, anything new and interesting or just buffs? Uh, the protection against injuries lasts longer. Okay, well, that's good. And again, just a buff, though. And the body can withstand bleeding for a longer period of time. That's actually really good because the bleeding goes really quickly in this game. And if you're not around something to deal with that, could die. Alright, we got one more. One's going off double. This is actually a lot of XP here, so I'm thinking this might be a little bit of a better one. Ooh! A greater distance can be traveled while moving on two legs. Alright, so you tap A to, to stand upright, and now we can basically run? Let's try this out. Alright, here we go. I mean, tapping A makes me jump. That's the confusing thing. Sometimes the explanation on how things work is a little bit confusing. Tap, if I double tap it and do a jump, I mean... I'm not really standing upright, that's the thing. But I am moving fast. A lot faster than what, what, what I usually do. So, I'm not really sure if I'm doing that right. I was hoping we could upright run. That would be really cool, but maybe not. I'm not sure. Okay, guys, we're going to wrap up this one here. I was hoping to uh, explore some more of this new area that we have, but uh, obviously we had to abruptly move our civilization because tigers were around our old one, and, well, that's no fun. But, yeah, we got a new area. Not sure how I feel about this one. It's obviously very large and very open, which is nice, but trying to find all the monkeys can be a pain in the butt. I gotta be honest, that first area was absolutely amazing. It was nice and small and easy to deal with. Hopefully we can find something like that again. Obviously in the next episode we'll be looking for maybe a new home and to slowly evolve our species. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.